Please welcome our first innovator, Jonathan Lorenz, Senior Innovation Designer, Special Projects, Canon USA. Imagine a Malibu sunset. The only thing missing is someone to share it with. And if you're like me, you might live far from family or nowhere near that longtime best friend. Well, what if you and your friend could have that sense of togetherness rivaled only by being together physically? A first of its kind VR platform for Canon. This brings lifelike video calling into virtual reality. Introducing the Kokomo software by Canon. a VR headset, and your mobile smartphone, Kokomo allows you to see and hear the other person, creating realistic representations of the users. Yes, your own live appearance, including facial expressions, in a photo-real environment. With this feature, the immersive call on Kokomo, it feels like you're face-to-face, -face, bringing a great sense of being together. At the heart of Kokomo are three pillars guiding our development. Real, experience, and togetherness. Our goal with Kokomo is for people to have real interactions when they get together, create memorable experiences in a new way with technology so realistic users forget they're wearing a headset. And our experience is not about multiple cameras, complex systems, or professional setups. It's about real-time face-to-face communication that can be made accessible to anyone. Kokomo will be available later this year. And since this is a platform experience, we're planning to bring new destinations, functions, features, and along with expanded compatibility for Canon cameras, and of course, the dual fisheye lens, which you'll hear more about later. And while the Kokomo technology is still under development, we're very excited to share a first ever look at our CES booth, where you can be among the first to experience an immersive call at Kokomo. We hope to see you there. Please welcome Drew McCallum, Advisor, Technical Information, Customer Experience Marketing, Canon USA. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. Our dual fisheye lens was introduced this past October and is democratizing the way creators capture VR content. Until now, those creating VR had to use multiple lenses this new dual fisheye lens showcases the simplicity of capturing VR technology in a single device. Imagine creative opportunities and new ways creators can take all of us on adventures with just a camera and a lens. It's an affordable stereoscopic lens that offers high quality stereoscopic image capture combining two images of the same object to give the video more depth. It creates a 180-degree immersive, ultra-realistic 3D video content and is compatible with a Canon EOS R5 camera. Simplify your workflow by eliminating the need to sync and stitch multiple video files. Canon's EOS VR utility software can easily convert footage from dual fisheye to equirectangular file that can be exported in various formats and resolutions. For Adobe users, the EOS VR plugin allows for equirectangular conversion to be done within the Adobe Premiere Pro application. Now, conversion, editing, and color grading can be done without leaving the Adobe ecosystem. In closing, I'd like to leave you with this video. Let's see what our creator has to say about how this lens is changing 
VR content capture. As a filmmaker, I'm always trying to transport my audience into different worlds. And with this new dual fisheye lens system by Canon, it feels like a whole new opportunity for storytelling. I started on Canon, I'm from the 5D school. And this particular VR system now like, feels very much like that wave. This lens just makes everything easy. It's ready to go, you just put the lens on and start shooting. This lens captures 3D 180 VR unlike any lens that I've worked with. The colors, the 8K resolution, it's an incredible lens. So what's cool about shooting with the Wheelie Crew is that they have these incredibly colorful bikes. Our environment here was very colorful and it all came across really, really beautifully. Being able to see how vibrant everything looked was a testament to what this lens can do. All of a sudden, we're able to immerse ourselves in the environment even more authentically and more beautifully. I feel like that humanity comes across when you're shooting these stories with VR. What I love about the RF Dual Fisheye is how easy it makes VR acquisition. You pull your card, you put it into your computer, you literally just drag your files into Premiere and it stitches it. You get an undistorted image. With this lens, it really does make it feel accessible. I think this opens up opportunities to filmmakers who are intimidated by VR. I definitely think this is gonna start a new breed of filmmakers. It raises the bar for VR. Please welcome to the stage, Kohei Maeda, Marketing Supervisor, Canon USA. Thank you. Thank you everyone for being here today. Canon has always had a vision to leverage our imaging technology to enhance creativity and help people to work and create together. From our line of pan to zoom camera to our printers and scanners that can be found in the companies around the world. We always create new technologies keeping the human benefit in mind. So about two years ago, we asked ourselves, what do people who collaborate creatively really need and want today and in the future? With a lot of collaboration going to hybrid even before the pandemic, we took a look at how we could make this process better, more natural, more spontaneous, more human. Some of you may already have heard of AMLOS, which stands for Activate My Line of Sight, during last year's CES when we reviewed a bit of concept. Today, we are excited to update you on our progress of bringing Amos to the market. So, and to showcase firsthand how it's going to change the way people all over the world create together. So let me show you. So all you need is just only one camera in the meeting room. The Amazon software works with any type of camera, but for the best image quality and experience, we recommend Canon 4K PTZ camera, such as the CRL300 and CRL500, which we will be using here today. So, this is Amos user interface for remote participant. As you can see, this is running on the web browser, which means that the remote user does not need to install any application. And you can see on this UI, the remote user can select one view, two view, three view more. And the remote user can freely switch between the different views, allowing them to see anything happen in the room from just only with one camera. So let's start from the two view mode. See? Here we see the whiteable in a very readable fashion. So we take the image from the camera video screen, crop it, correct the aspect ratio, and the, uh, process the image. Now it can clearly be seen and read by the remote participants. We can now also digitally zoom in to the certain parts with the mouse control uh, to highlight the certain topics. Then let's go to the 3D mode. 
So as now I'm a presenter, so the remote participants can watch a close-up video stream of me. So the video stream will follow me so that the remote participants can uh, keep up my facial expression and reactions. Then go back to the 2B mode, and as you can see, like, just drag and drop, you know, control, you know, remote users can see, select by themselves what they want to see. And then you can also control the meeting entirely with hand gestures, which means that you don't have to be at your computer. Feeling well up to walk around the room to be more engaged in the creative process. So people in the room can guide the camera and to bring anything to the attention to the remote users. Watch how I set the region of interest by simply opening and closing the hand. So let's take this one. Just open the hand. See? Imagine how it's useful is for an architecture firm to show a model of building or for fashion designer to present an array of fabrics. You know, but it gets better. So here's where we take advantage of using the optical zoom feature of a camera. The camera we are using now is a network pan tilt zoom camera. It has high quality imaging and we want the users to take advantage of that. So as you can see right now, once the gesture is made, Amos will momentarily pause the live video Take the control of the camera, zoom into this camera, and then capture the high quality still image and make that available to all remote users. Remember how as remote user, you know, you will never be able to see or read anything in the room. Check this out. I'm gonna put the small posit here and then do that. As I mentioned, now physically moving, the camera is physically moving it and then taking the high quality picture image. So then you can now select this. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> and finally, end the meeting. All you need to do is just do this hand gesture to the camera. See, that whole session is ended. So Amros was created to live up to the goal of being single, simple, and seamless. A single camera in the meeting room that produces multiple video stream with simple to use hand gestures to guide it from within the room and a seamless integration into the collaboration style and the existing platform. So speaking of the platform, we are proud to share that Microsoft Teams is the first integrated Amros technology. So by this spring, the business users for all they use these platforms uh, will be able to take full advantage of Amos. We believe it will bring back serendipity to remote collaboration and will help the modern creative process thrive. Yeah. So that's the Amos. Hmm? Wait. What's the sound? Huh? Oh, sorry, this is maybe the team's call. I must have left my team's. Oh, wait. I have a call from Joseph Gordon Levy on my team's. I have to take, sorry. Sorry on the stage, but I have to take it. Hi! Hi, Joe! <laughs> wow, Joe, perfect timing. We are just talking about the creativity and the collaboration. And there's no one better in the world to talk about that than you. <laughs> uh, well, thank you. Thank you. I don't, I don't know if there's no one better than me. <laughs> I know something about it. Yeah, it's true when I say that the creative collaboration is at the heart of what you and your talented team at Hit Record do, right? Hit Record, yes, indeed, yeah. So Hit Record is a, it's a creative community that I started with my brother many years ago. It's over a million people now. And it's all about creativity and collaboration. It's full of people that love making things together, whether it's short films, music, or books, all kinds of things. Yeah, so how does that actual collaboration work exactly? 
Well, the idea is that you have an online environment where it's, it's less about, hey, look at me, look what I made, and it's more about all of us making something together, right? So, for example, say we were to make a short film, someone might write a story, someone else might build off of that story and draw some of the characters in the story, and someone else might, you know, voice those characters, someone else might animate those characters, and no one's in the same room as each other. We all just do it from wherever we are, and to me, that's a lot of the beauty of, of what the internet can provide, is, you know, making things together that we might not have been able to do alone. Yeah, that's that's very really impressive. Yeah, there's so many, you know, the fun and the educational uh, contents in the hit record on site, and then, but uh, what's more impressive is that, uh, you know, some of the, uh, the content that you produce in that way has got has been recognized with an Emmy. Yes, yes, sir. Two Emmys. Go <laughs> there are two of them. <laughs> Thank you. And we always say, you know, that the creative process itself and how much fun it is and, and how meaningful that can be is really the prize. But it's yeah, it, it's it means a lot to us to be recognized by the yeah. Emmy. That way, sure. So let's a little bit talk about the technology. How do you usually use the technology to collaborate? So, you know, we have a hit record app on the website, and anybody can start a project on our platform. Uh, what most people do is they come and they contribute to other people's projects just by doing fun little creative things, and, and that's how we collaborate together. Um, and, you know, usually it happens asynchronously. People aren't communicating live. Um, but if we ever do need to talk live, you know, we call each other, we do video calls. But this is why I thought it was really interesting to potentially partner with Amos and figure out a way to work together with you guys at Canon because anytime there's new technology that makes collaboration easier, I, I take interest. Thank you so much. So that's really, really exciting to me to that, that, you know, that the Amos can be the part of your collaboration project. And then, so then let's talk about being an exciting new uh, project. Hit record on the Canon are doing at CES. Yeah, so we're going to do this kind of experiment. We've never done this before. We're going to make a brand new animated short film. We're going to do it collaboratively. We've done that before, but this time we're going to use the Amlo system to set up sort of a hybrid writer's room and open up the creative process as it happens live. And I'm going to be working with two fantastic artists from the Hippocore community, Tom Masri, Edward Jesse. They just co-created a TV show called Wolf Boy and the Everything Factory that just came out on Apple TV+. Plus. And um, we're going to make a short film together and collaborate with each other remotely and with folks at CES. We're going to set up a way to communicate with all, you know, anybody who wants to join in on the process that way as well. Yeah. Super cool. So a little bit, can you a little bit talk uh, more about uh, you know how exactly you know the the collaboration uh, works in, at CS? Yeah, sure. So well, I'm I'm actually here right now in Los Angeles. This is the Hammer Board office. Um, we wrote writers' room on the wall, as you can see, um, because you can really set up a writers' room anywhere, right? And and that's kind of the magic of it. And um, and so we're going to use the ammo system to collaborate with other people that are at CES that can come and tune into the sessions that we're having when we're writing together. We're going to be sketching out the story, coming up with the themes, uh, figuring out the storyboards, etc. The whole process, we're going to we're going to kind of do it live, as they say. Yeah, actually, Joe, uh, I bring up the Amos UI on the Hit Record office. So now I can yeah. see that all the writer's room, everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Here we are. <laughs> Super cool, wow. So, what are your expectations uh, of uh, having such kind of live and remote uh, writer's rooms uh, with so many different people at CS? Yeah, there's something that happens when, when you're collaborating live that's different than doing it asynchronously. Ideas bounce off of each other, and one thing leads to another, and you feel that kind of magic that can only really happen when people are in real time being creative together. And so I'm really interested to do this thing that we've been doing asynchronously for years, but now to do it together live. Cool, yeah. I think that keep at CS will be excited too. So especially if they hear that after CS, that script and storyboards will go into the production to become an actual original short film set to be released in several weeks. Yeah, we're, we're really excited about it, man. We're, 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 we're,
we're, we're going to make something beautiful, I'm sure. So I can't wait for you guys to check it out. The process as well as the finished product. So thank you, Joe. So we're inviting all of you to come and experience it for yourself. So you can sign up in, uh, for in-person and online session at jointhewritersroom.com. So thank you so much, Joe. Uh, we'll be seeing you tomorrow in the first session. So I'm sure it's going to be incredible. All right, thank you, Kai. Cheers. So yeah, thank you. So before I let you sign off, I'd like to, Mr. Ogawa, to please join me back on stage. Wow, wow, wow. That was a tremendous you know, the introduction into you know, the Amulos. You know, thank you, Kohei. That's you know, the wonderful you know, the, uh, explanation. Also, you know, the, thank you, Joe. Thank you, Mr. Ogawa. Hey Joe, before we go, you know, you got you know the extra minutes for you know, the photo opportunities. Is it good? Of course, man. My pleasure. All right. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Joe. So, thank you. as we conclude, I'd like to thank you all again uh, for being here today and you know, for your support of in the camp. Well, we did not, you know, the enough time to share everything with you. So please be sure to visit our booth to learn more and see demonstrations of these solutions. Uh, we look, you know, forward to seeing you there, Canada, together next. Thank you very, very much. Members of the Canon team will be available at the front of the stage to answer any immediate questions you may have.